What's going on creators? Today we're going to be building this video editing machine. Joining me today is Francisco, a fellow creator. By the way, my name is Leo and thank you for watching. Sometimes I get a little too overzealous with these introductions and I forget to introduce myself. I just want you to know that this video does have a surprise twist ending. So please stay tuned all the way to the end. Tell us a little bit about your channel. My channel is in Spanish, but it's mostly the same. We do creator stuff like unboxings. We go out and do some traveling, short traveling, uh, but mostly it's about pop culture. I don't know. It's what I like to do. So if you're a Spanish speaker, make sure you check out his channel. Today we're gonna be building this video editing machine. I think it falls somewhere around the mid range to upper tier uh, category. Where let's begin. The parts we chose are all specifically aimed at video editing, although this probably will work pretty good for video gaming. If you're a gamer out there, this will probably do you um, good as well. However, this is mainly aimed at the video editing machine. So first we begin with the Intel i7. This um, is a really good, the i5 is also really good for the 13th gen. However, I figured for just a few dollars more, I'd go ahead and future proof a little bit by going with this bad boy that has more cores and it's a little bit faster. So we chose this, the i7. Um, next up, we chose to cool that i7. You know, first you buy the house, then you buy the insurance. <laughs> so we chose the Peerless Assassin uh, 120 in white. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a black and white theme with this. You know, some NWO, some Stormtrooper vibes maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care much about the looks. I don't care about much about the looks here with this build. It's, cuts. <laughs> it's mainly aimed at the lowest price I could get it while it has the highest performance I could get as well. So Peerless Assassin, this is pretty good. Usually a really, really great value. Um, in terms of value, it's typically aimed at uh, ranked at about number one hmm. um there's i think two or three coolers that are just perform slightly better than this one uh, air coolers and so you might be wondering why did you go with an air cooler as opposed to a water, water cooler, cooler. Yeah. right well i'm the type of guy that doesn't want to um be fiddling around every so often with maintenance on the computer so uh, I chose this over a water cooler and having to go through that whole thing every five or so years where I change out the, the coolant within the cooler. So that's why I went with good old air cooling. So this is probably going to be a little louder in terms of the fans kicking in here and there when it gets hot, but it's something I'm willing to live with. It's the assassin. Yes, the peerless assassin. So <laughs> we went with that. And up next, the other most important component with the 4070 ti um i know there's a little bit of controversy with the 4070 series but hey i went ahead and got this anyway i was able to find it in white so this is the white version of the galax 4070 ti um so from what i hear it's pretty good mm -hmm. it's all about the cuda cores when it comes to video editing, whether you're using DaVinci Resolved or Adobe uh, Premiere, this should be working pretty good. Motherboard. I use the Creator's Motherboard, the Z690 Aero G from Gigabyte. And this comes with a few uh, benefits regarding uh, anything that creator related because yeah. it comes with some extra ports in case you want to use one of those special art tablets um, this has a port that you can directly plug in and it powers on or as well as a bunch of heat sinks on the motherboard particularly that's what i kind of fell in love with uh, most people will say that this version does not have the 10 gigabyte ethernet mm. So if you're operating off of a NAS system uh, for your video editing needs, I recommend then the next one up, the Aero D, not the Aero G. The Aero D does come with a 10 gigabyte ethernet connector if you're operating that. But 
for my personal necessity. I don't need that. I probably saved a hundred dollars because I don't need that. Although in the future, if I want to upgrade to having one of those, that upgrade is about a hundred dollars more or less mm. to do that. So I can still have it. It's an option in the future if I want to. How many hard drives? So good thing you mentioned the hard drives because I ended up going with the Samsung 980 Pros. This is these. This is a one terabyte and this is a two terabyte. Mm -hmm. um, the way the workflow is going to be is that my operating system and apps are all going to be running off of the one terabyte. That's maybe a little bit of overkill. However, the price between a 500 gigabyte version of this is probably five dollars. So for five dollars more, I just decided to go with the one terabyte version. With the one terabyte yeah. makes sense. Plus, it's a little bit of future proofing as well. And um, and then for my content, the my video uh, projects that I'm working on, they're all going to be stored on the two terabyte. Ah. And the Samsung 980 Pros have a reputation for being uh, really fast. Mm -hmm. But more than anything, the reason why I got them is because they have a reputation for being very stable and very reliable, which is key. That's what we it's need. essential. Yeah. I've had hard drives kill my projects in the past, and that's you a big no-no. No, no. it destroys your soul like it did to mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's why he's bitter now. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. Um, up next with memory, e memory, I went with 64 gigabytes, uh, so two sticks at 32 gigs each, and uh, I went with the Corsair Vengeance DDR5, and this one I believe it's running at 5600 megahertz, at least that's what's on the box, so we'll be working with that. This is another one that uh, has a reputation for being very stable, uh, very, being very good, that's and what you want. a lot of people don't like these because of the looks they're very plain looking they're just a black stick however i don't care about looks with this i just want the best bang for the buck so here we go with that another corsair product over here i went with the rm 850x high performance uh gold rated power supply gold rated yes and it has a 10 year warranty so that tells me right away that if they're willing to stick with their product for 10 years then it's possibly probably a pretty good product good. very stable plus corsair they've been in the game for quite a bit they so know their stuff yeah i kind of trust them you know and um for the cases i mean the case fans this is a brand new fan that just came out mm. from arctic it's a very plain in the way it looks very uh basic you know fan Black however fan. it's it ramps up to a, i believe it's now 3300 rpm uh at its highest speed and from what i hear um they're supposed to be pretty quiet we're about to find out for ourselves um some other people say that not dua they're they're not uh as n not as quiet as they say because there's a little bit of a pitch issue with that mm. uh, but we'll see we'll find out so these are the Arctic P12 Max fans. I got four of them. And right here, you know, one thing that I found out about almost every motherboard that's been released in, in um, the past couple of years has had an issue with the, um, the latch system that, that latches the CPU onto the motherboard. Apparently, when you latch it on, there's some parts of the latch that apply uneven pressure. And that's mm. what this is for. This is um, a plate that corrects that. So by correcting that problem, you cool down your CPU. Ah, okay. And not only that, but it increases the lifetime of your CPU mm. because it, it avoids bending the CPU because right, the heat. that uneven yeah. pressure in combination with the heat, mm -hmm. over time the CPU begins to bend and I you start that. having performance issues. So this is a quick little $10 fix. You can find these on Amazon. Hmm. By the way, none of this video is sponsored. It's all on my dollar. So yeah. this is just uh, hopefully in the future know. we'll be able to find some sponsors, but everything you're gonna get and in the upcoming weeks you might see some reviews up for some of the these particular items it's gonna be a hundred percent honest and unbiased because I sponsored it 
exactly. Exactly. Um, We're going to know if it's worth it. The case we got has an adapter port for a USB 10 gigabyte. And a USB, it's a USB-C mm-hmm. port. And it requires the additional purchase of this adapter in order to make that USB-C usable. Um, so, hey, well, well, we're on that topic. Probably the biggest case. part here. I'll show you right now the case. Oh, she's good. Let's move this out of the way. The case is right here. You could see the box, but let's just get get it's this huge. thing out of the <laughs> out of the way here. And I went with a budget case. Hopefully, we won't have budget results, but actually, this has gotten some really nice reviews right here, as you can see right there. You see that? So that's the Fractal Design 2, is it? Design 2? Focus 2. The Fractal Focus 2. Oh, I like all the ports up here. Yeah. So that's the Fractal case. Focus 2. And the it's a pretty unit. neat looking case. It has like a little it. bit of a Stormtrooper vibe to it. And last but not least, um, this one is 18 terabytes of hard disk space. Ah, that's the storage. That's the archive storage, not the working storage. So once you're done with a project, here it is. Once you're finished with a project. 10 terabytes? It's 18 terabytes. Oh, the See, biggest 18. hard drive I have is eight terabytes, bro. Oh, well. <laughs> that that, that yeah. just wants me to get one right now. <laughs> well, as I tell you, I'm trying to future-proof. I don't like buying computers very often like i know there's nothing wrong with it but me personally i'd rather just have something good and that's have gonna work and have it uh, be reliable and stable and working for a very long time so future proofing a little bit by getting a little bit extra this is um the western digital red pro Ooh. so it's a little bit loud it's a mechanical drive but the pro this pro version is very stable there's also another version that comes after this but they use this for for, for servers and for all that stuff so I, I think that's overkill for what i'm doing um so sticking with this that's pretty good typically everybody begins with the motherboard however there's a little bit of prep i want to do on this case so let's begin there what I'm going to do, if you can see here in the front, um, we have the two front fans right here and right here. They're 140 millimeter front fans. Mm. And there's like a gap right here in the middle. I don't know if you can see there. Oh, so you're going to replace them? So what I want to do is replace them with three mm. 120 millimeter okay. fans. And by doing that, you cover it'll, the whole thing. I cover the whole thing with airflow. Smart. And then I can put those two up here, and then I can have one of the other fans ah, coming out the back here. That's so good ventilation, folks. So ventilation 101. <laughs> you want to preserve your CPU and all of its components as cool as you can to get optimal performance. So we're gonna do that. Let's see. Does it you pull pull out? Just kind of push these like knobs in. Okay, no, there, it has these little clips. Like, push clips. Okay. You just pop it out once once you push them in. Now we want to be extra careful so we don't break our components. They are plastic clips. And as we all know, plastic is not as sturdy as we might want to have it sometimes. So we got the little fan cables coming through here. Francisco, how long has it been since you built your PC? It's been 84 years. Seven years. <whistles> Seven years. Almost time for an upgrade. Almost. <laughs> I did upgrade the graphics card not too long ago though. Two, three years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at that. But so far, so good. Still working good. Yeah. Still good for my needs. That's good. 4K editing good on it? Mm hmm. Have you noticed any, um, any hiccups with 4K footage? Nope. No? That's good. You just let it load and 
once it's loaded, you can do as you want with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, the app, DaVinci, was... AI? And no, it does have AI, but it primarily was a, an app designed for color correcting. Mm -hmm. and color grading, all, all that stuff mm -hmm. to do with vi film and color. Uh, big Hollywood productions use DaVinci Resolve for that. But over the years, they've, they've added so many features that it's pretty much turned into... Um, like a video editing. Like a full editing suite. Mm -hmm. It includes the audio suite. It includes the graphics suite. It includes the, the, uh, the edit editor as well. So a lot of people are loving it. They say it performs better, has better features. Um, I can't personally speak on it because I haven't used it. But I have heard a lot of really good things about this. See, these fans are going to go up here. You see that? Yeah. However, I'm not going to install them yet because I'm going to need... You need to know. I'm going to need space for, for my board. chubby yeah. little fingers to route <laughs> route right. the yeah. uh, cables. cables through here. So we'll save these for later. Um, we want to make sure we can get all those cables routed through there, but we can start putting all these fans on this side. So I'm going to put this here on the side. Your only fans. Our biggest fans. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my only fans. <laughs> I don't know what kind of joke that is, but let's go for it. <laughs> so these are like, like the baby versions of those other ones. However, the RPMs on these so much higher i do like the shape of it yeah if you see they're inside the ring that's yeah. one of the things i liked about those fans so that means more stability and more balance and that's why it's able to reach higher rpms putting the fans on the case is the last thing you do however i'm anticipating that once all the components are here it's gonna be really hard i'm gonna be having a tough time kind of maneuvering the screwdriver does your computer get loud? Yours is a, a, uh, um, a water-cooled. Uh, it's it's water-cooled, and it used to be loud, but I replaced my fans with uh, Noctua oh, fans, and those are so quiet. Those are typically considered the number one fans for for um That was a perform recommendation from uh, Linus Tech Tips, and yeah. I took it to heart, and it didn't fail me. Although, let me tell you... <laughs> In recent years, it's got some comp competition now. Yeah. They're still number one, but in terms of value, there's other ones that um, a lot of people prefer just simply because of the price to performance. Yeah, price is a little uh, cause too high. Because they, they kind of figured out, oh, we're number one, we're yeah. going to charge you like we're number one. Yeah, I believe each fan was like $60 if I remember Whoa, correctly. Whoa, are you serious? Yeah. But it's quiet as a mouse, let me tell you. Oh, that's good. So I was happy with it. I bet your baby appreciates that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that one's fully on. This one still Not needs fully on. two screws. And I'm sure something's going to happen at some point that's during this build. Snap out and break. Yes. Where We're expecting I'm going to be like, oh, I didn't think of that. We need to undo the whole thing and yeah. redo it. Yeah, usually that's what happens. You know, I'm a creator and I've always, uh, I, I've been doing video creation for about 21 years now or so. So, you know, I have quite a bit of experience. I've worked with quite a bit of stuff, um, both at an amateur and professional level. However, this is my first time building my own actual computer. So... I'm pretty sure I'm ex I'm expecting at some point for something to go wrong. For all you storytellers out there, this is what we call foreshadowing. I I somehow ended up with an extra screw. That's good. Free screw. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to figure out if you forgot one here, but no. Thank you, Arctic, for the yeah. free screw. It is a free screw. <laughs> That is weird I hope and I, odd. I hope I don't end up feeling like I got screwed on this deal <laughs> when it's oh, all said and done. Cool. So the fans are up and now we're going to start. This is the second start. We're going to start with the MOBO, Ooh. the motherboard. So as you can see, it's no. the ROG. Oh, and this is a good time to say, in case you've been wondering, why the gloves? They look awesome, okay? That's why... We, no, it just looks... No, it's just um, 
th- it's recommended um, that you wash your hands or wear gloves because we have a lot of natural oils that we don't want to get on these components that are going to later be operating at very, very high temperatures. Mm-hmm. And the oil in our body just kind of helps those get even hotter and it cooks them. So that's something we want to avoid to get our natural oils on these. Not only that, but um, also a lot of people recommend that um, you touch something metallic so that you don't accidentally cause a spark on here and kind of mess up your motherboard. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we're going to be fine. Most people put their motherboard right on top of their box. So we're going to be doing that as well. Um, But before... And get that out. I'm gonna get out some of these components we'll probably be needing later on for our build, a bunch of little cables and such. And instruction manual. Who needs them? I probably do. I've never done this before. <laughs> so let's be better off safe than sorry. So here's the gigabyte box we're gonna be using. Here is the motherboard. And here we go. Arrow G Gigabyte. All right, so am I am I doing this right? I believe so. Okay, so might as well take off all the stickers now, huh? Do you want to take them off? Yeah. You don't need them on. Oh, you mean the protector? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, that's very static. Yes. Ugh. I think I need to touch metal again. I hope that's metal. Okay, so a little bit of prep work with this one. Um, before we we continue, like if you want to see here, see up close, we have the heat sink here for all of the hard drives. Mm-hmm. We have another heat sink here for another hard drive. The It's the SSD mm-hmm. hard drives I'm talking about. And this is a creator board, so it has... Enough for up to four, mm-hmm. which is awesome. I love that. Eventually, I'm probably going to be getting a, a cache hard drive mm-hmm. and a gaming hard drive. Why not? So there we go. So this is the famous latch we were talking about that yeah. has been you. causing causing some problems. Right. Now, we don't want to uncover it yet because we don't want dust or whatever to get in there. Okay. But this is the part where we're going to put in the... CPU and then we're gonna unscrew the brackets and install the other one that we got here. Interesting. So here we go. The I9 is probably wait, so you install CPU first and then you unscrew the latches? Yeah. That way it stays on in the plate in this. Oh in the gotcha, same gotcha, place. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That makes sense, folks. That makes sense. Listen to Leo. He did some research before prior to building this. Believe me, I, I did um, <laughs> probably crash course. a crash course of about 20 hours. All right. That's um, a crash course. <laughs> just, um, I got pretty obsessive obsessive about this. Um, just trying to uh, figure out, oh, this thing's pretty heavy. Figure out what I'm supposed to do. So they tell you there's an arrow. arrow. Yep. On the corner? On the, one of the corners. Okay, well, it is yeah. what it is. That's it. And as long as it fits so without there pressure. It is. There it is. There it is. It's We're on not there. forcing it. Everything's on. So. so this thing should just pop off. And there it is. It popped off. Right. Wait a second. Now it should pop off. See, there it is. Okay, so this means our CPU is in the appropriate place. Right? Mm-hmm. Because it's all, all in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unlatch it to take off some of that pressure. And we're going to put this little guy on. And see, this one comes with some thermal paste. Ah. So there's the thermal paste. Here's the guy that we're looking for. Although, you know what? Now that I think about it, when I got my motherboard, 
not not mine recently, but I did a build for my nephew. Um, the motherboard did come with like an extra piece like that, a plastic piece like that, that I was wondering what that was for. So I just tossed it aside, but apparently it is a common practice nowadays. Well, this is actually, well, yeah, common practice now, but it's relatively new. Like it's, it's only, I would say maybe, um, within this year new, mm. um, that people kind of figured out like, whoa, wait a minute. These motherboards are bending the CPU because it's, uh, not very appropriately, um, mounted. Come on, what's going on? Oh, See, no, the, no. the other guys are co cooperating. The other guys like you better, Leo. <laughs> that one's uh. You can just pull the whole thing with it. The Raphael of the group. You think you're right, Francisco? Now you have more experience than I do. Will the magnet on this thing potentially mess up anything on, on just your data? Setup? Just data, huh? Okay, so now we drop this fella in. Interesting. Never seen that done. <sighs> and I'm a little nervous right now, Francisco. This is a crucial part in the installation. Is it? Yes, because even if we manage to install this um, successfully, the the precision of installation also matters in terms of how how well this responds thermally to the thermally. installation. So thermals depending a lot of on a lot of things like the paste, the cooler, mm. and this, and um, and also hopefully hoping we don't get a, a bust of a chip as well because that sometimes does happen. So hopefully none of that's going to go on. So. According to the research I did, this part can be kind of tricky on a lot of these because you want to put equal it, pressure yeah. yeah, as you're installing it. So what we're going to do is... Oh, there's kids down the street. I'm going to go counterclockwise. Counter you hear that? Yep. Click, it, click. It clicks. So that's that lets you know that's the starting point to where you can start actually screwing it on. So... Let's do that again. There it is. There's a click. So now I'm going to go one quarter of a turn. And I'm going to go diagonally to this side. Okay. So now I'm going to go a quarter of a turn. I'm going to go this side now. There's a click. About a quarter of a turn. Here's a click. There it is. Click. About a quarter of a turn. And so now I'm gonna do a quarter of a turn for every Funny. time. Funny. Yeah. So the tension is killing. I've seen dudes that do this and they don't do the quarter turns. They just go all out. Those guys, my respects to you guys. Respect. Braver than I am. Here's the stop. There's a stop. These are still loose.
here's the stop. So making sure we're all dandy. <sighs> there it is. I don't know what to say. Was it successful? We shall see. It seems like it, but like you say, we shall see. It's a very interesting hit sync thing going on here. Never seen anything like that, gotta be yeah. honest with you, Leo. Yeah? This looks like the heat sink in my really old computer mm. from like 2007. Mm. It's actually, I was surprised they haven't really changed that much compared to <laughs> right now. I'm looking at this though, and I know the heat sink should probably go on next. However, I think maybe I should put on the SSD card. To have more room. To have room because yeah. I'm going to put this heat sink on and it might be in the way mm -hmm. maybe maybe not but we'll we'll do this now we don't we don't lose out by doing this now another thing as opposed to later the reason why i like to use the water cooling is because you don't have to apply thermal paste because it already comes with it it comes with the um oh that's right yeah the, um, ceramic thing has this the ceramic it's like a sticker right. kind of right yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you see? You don't have to worry about the okay, mess so or whatever, but... This is our first slot for memory. So that's going to be where my operating system is going to be at. And that's where my one terabyte drive is going into. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. The old trusty Samsung 980 Pro's. You see these so much on the videos and the re when you know as I, I was doing research for this on the reviews and everything and even when you open it it's still a shock how, how far we we've come over the years with technology yep. how small these things are and how fast and the capacity that they have so we're going to slot this in at an angle Help me, Francisco. Am I doing this right? Yeah, oh, there good. it is. There it is. We good, bro. Now you just put we it good. down and screw it in. That's all you need to do. What? What are you doing? Oh. You need your screw. Yeah, I need to. The screw is right here. Right. It's I your need heat to sink. Pull this off of the heat sink. So this is similar to what you were saying on the coolers. Right. It is hard drive secure. Remember that scene in that Adam Sandler movie where he's playing golf and he's yelling at the the ball. Mm -hmm. That's your hole. That's your Get home. In your hole. That's I your feel. home. Or that's your home. I've, well, I've, I've, I'm kind of thinking the same thing right now. There you go. It's in. Now you can put your stumps in there. Yeah. It, it's logical, Leo. I'll trust you on this one, Francisco. But you don't want to damage the motherboard. That's Mikey, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. And DiCaprio. Oh. <laughs> Leonardo and DiCaprio. <laughs> there we go. What do those do? They're probably not important. Or are they? We'll find out when we power it on, right? I'm just going to keep spinning until something happens. <laughs> there he is. We're home now. Vengeance DDR5 time. Vengeance. Now we're gonna put in the RAM sticks before we put in this huge fan that we have over here. And that should be in. Now we're gonna go with his twin brother. Come on, unless you put it in. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. Ready? Click, click. Explosion. 
And the Oscar goes to... Uh, DiCaprio for the Covenant. <laughs> We're going to use the Thermal Right TF7. So, here we go. I saw a bunch of videos on this and all they say is as long as you use enough, it doesn't matter what pattern you use, but um, the pea size pattern mostly gets just the like a circle around here once you squeeze it on. And what I saw a guy do is he, uh, they do a nine dots, I mean 12 dots, and it spreads out pretty good. So I, I'm hoping I'm going to do that and I'm hoping it's enough. Ta-da! Okay. So you're gonna slowly bring it down. I'm gonna guide it through. Wait, let me make sure it's offset properly, proper way. Yes, it is. Okay, so go ahead. Hold on to it. This is where... Oh, I can't even see that one. We froze. <laughs> no, it's actually a cool pose. This feels like it just keeps so going much. forever. Um, I mean, I don't. I think here it should be. No, I don't want to. You don't want to crush it, right? Yeah, I just. I don't feel. Well, it's because you have almost any tension. You have a. What are those things called? Oh my god. I'm drawing a plank here. You know those little coils? Oh, that's why. Like, okay. it's never gonna go all the way so down. So we're never going to a full stop. So no. we're, I think, you think that's good? Uh, or should I? If it's secure and if it's I mean, not moving, I will leave you, it. You be the judge, tell me. I think so. Okay, I think we're good then. So now we're installing these fanny fans. Or does this install go at the end? Yeah, I think that goes on the actual. So there's going to be one in the middle. We could also do one over here, but it's going to be close to too close to the exhaust fan. I'd rather do one in the middle and then the other one over here. You well, know what I'm there saying? There you go. Ooh, that looks so cool. Look at that cooler. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to start installing hard drives. The hard drives, that's right. So here we have the 980 Pro 2 terabyte. According to the rumors online, the reviews and the research I've done, this hard drive is the um, one of the more reliable ones for video editors. And content creators, not just video editors. There's all sorts of different types of content creators, like animators, and all of the above. That's right. One thing I loved about this motherboard is that it has space for up to four of these hard drives. All right. And eventually, what I want to do is I want to um, oh, still not off, huh? Eventually, what I want to do is I want to um, get all of these hard drives set up so that it's um, it's the system drive, the, the operating system and apps, which we already have in here. And what we're going to install right now is our work drive with all of our projects on it. And let's see, now it'll come off. So here's the heat sink. See that? Yeah, cool. Three. Yeah, so it has three of them. And we have our three spots right here for hard drives. The SSD NVMe 980 Pros. That's a mouthful. So I'm going to put this in slot number one here. Alrighty, there we go. So that one lines up with 
with this little fella. And that's the heat sink. Wow, that feels so sturdy. It's gonna keep them down, Leo. Yeah, man. We'll see. So I'm gonna attaching this divide this splitter here to for the fans. I'm doing that now. Just got to be careful. We don't want to bend the pins. If we're too forceful. There. Let's see. Okay. The other one's over here. It's, oh, it's... How many pins? Three? Okay. I was like, oh no, I bent the other one. These twist eyes, Francisco, they stay on or off? Cable management is going to be a thing. So off. I mean, you're going to have to eventually... We're going to have to route yeah. them behind the, yes. the thing, huh? Behind the, the plate. Yeah. So might as well take them off now. Okay, so here we have our our thing here let's uh yeah this is an ATX board so we're gonna line this up to these guys line them up Leo yeah looks good right looks right. good Anything, right I mean we need to prep before we do here no I think we're all lined up, right? Yep. I think we're all Let's lined up. In. All right, give me the screws. Man, my hands, my whole life have been so shaky. <laughs> so, my whole life I used to say, I've been drinking coffee since I was a kid because my mom's used to my mom used to allow me to. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> I mean, just a little taste. It wasn't like I was drinking hardcore coffee either. But but um, that explains a lot. Now Oops. now I think that explains quite a bit. Mama Leo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like the neighbors having an intense conversation. Most of our mics probably can't pick up the conversation Francisco and I are listening to outside. However, however, that one right above your head might be strong enough. We'll mm. see. We will see. So now we're done. Now you do the graphics card. Graphics card time. So the CPU is like the main event. Mm -hmm. And this is just the cherry on the top. Mm-hmm. So from what I understand, you have to unslot this top one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Just click. Make it click. Make it click. There you go. You're good. <laughs> We should um, maybe be a little more neat when doing this, huh? Maybe, Leo, maybe. Here, give me some cables. Oh, you're gonna need a lot of those for yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. You know, Francisco, I thought that during this build, I would be able to do most of it pretty straightforward. No, I know, but not. Until this point. This was the point where I figured you would come in to save my hide, <laughs> this goes yeah. in here. Just gotta line up with the holes and then screw it in. Yeah, all right. And we want the fan pulling air from underneath because we do have an exhaust on this underneath part down here. 
so I think it'd be better if you lift it this side so that you can actually line up correctly and not be fighting against gravity. Spoken like a true veteran. I mean, you're pretty much the audio. Yeah. Like, in my builds, the one thing that always I struggle with is the water cooler. And you're not doing that, so you don't have to mess with those big old hoses. Wait a minute. So, you're telling me installing a water cooler is more complicated than installing this guy that we yes. did? Yes, because you're dealing with the hose that goes uh -huh. into the radiator and it's... Yeah. It's right here. So this is gonna go up here on these uh, grommets. These, well, we're gonna use the grommets. We're gonna use the screws. <laughs> I'm sweaty. It's breathing hard now. Breathing hard and sweaty. How many do I need? Three? You need three. Four. Yeast? One, two, three, four. That's what I thought. Let's go with four. My intuition says four. Ta-da! 18 terabytes of memories. I need one of those. I need one of those up here. How much was this? You don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's about, I got it on sale for about, I think it was With tax and everything, about three hundred dollars. I my chest hurts and yes. I can't breathe. Oh, <laughs> and and it was a really good deal. Oh, anybody my chest hurts. who knows anything about these and I can't breathe. Anybody who knows anything about these fellas <laughs> will tell you. I holy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so let's see. So for those people that want quiet operation. Mm -hmm. This drive might not be for you, right? But in my case, I wanted something reliable on a professional level because I'm gonna be using this for my professional work environment. Well, you need to leave some room for the latch, right? Leo, they shouldn't be all the way tight now. It, um they have to slide in, right? It slides in on the actual plastic piece. Oh, okay. You see that? Okay. Okay, then you're good. So, let's see. It says lock screw. Oh, you only needed three, Leo. Oh, that's why it was showing three on this yeah. side. That's all right. Just all gotta right. screw it. You're good. Right. We did not break it. There it is. Boom. Easy fix. Easy money. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Watch that cable. There you go. I don't think it'll take us that long. Wow, look at that. Perfect. That's a fat boy. That is a fat boy. And it's USB C, so I guess it doesn't matter which way. Nope. Now, um, this part that we're working on right here, this was the only negative as far as what I was looking at when I was looking at this uh, this case. That was like my biggest negative for it that it just seemed like they skimped out on this part they could have included that should have been included. Like they should have just charged you a little extra and sold a complete case to you as opposed to us having to kind of struggle with this a little bit. Moments later. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. Did you flip it up? Yeah. Oh, did you turn it over there? Oh, of course, I knew that, right? Hello darkness, my old friend. It was at this moment that I realized that I was going to be in for a long night of troubleshooting. 
Francisco and I began the troubleshooting process. First, we made sure all the cables were in the proper place and properly seated. Then we looked around for any anomalies and no, everything seemed like it was properly placed. We made sure that it was getting proper power. A lot more troubleshooting steps after that. Francisco had to leave and I continued troubleshooting. But then we chatted online and we ended up coming to the conclusion that it was most likely going to be either a power supply unit problem or a motherboard issue. I replaced the power supply. That wasn't it. And then later on, I replaced the motherboard. And what you are about to see is that new build with a new motherboard. I hope you've liked this video today. I know I enjoyed making it for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. There is a lot more to come in the near future. My name's Leo, and thank you for watching Creators Tech. Technology for creators.